actually, and this is going to be a segue to Carlia's presentation on using our resources, but I just want to give a really quick overview of what our resources are. Um, and so it really starts with uh, our website, because <laughs> that's uh, um, where we keep everything and where everything is available to you. Let me just do one thing real quick. Sorry, I'm trying to, uh... there we go. Uh, okay, can everybody see Trish? Is the website looking there? <laughs> it's there. There, yay. Okay, so I guess the most, most important thing would be is we're at nationalald.org. So uh, hopefully you've all got that bookmarked, but there is just so much there in our website that we offer as support for officers, student leaders, members, advisors, anybody related to Alpha Lambda Delta in any way, we've got information and resources and um, a lot of great stuff. So if you're like me, uh, you only need to know where one thing is, which is search, because that's all I do. Uh, uh, I'm gonna show you where some things are anyway, but just always know that there is a search button at the bottom. So if you're looking for initiation ceremonies or programs around diversity or uh, honor cords or whatever it is you're looking for, uh, you will find it in search. Um, but we do have a few menu uh, items at the top. Um, the about has got a lot of stuff. If you're wondering about the history, we, we are pretty excited about our history in that in two years is our centennial. Uh, and there's a lot of information um, about our history, including uh, one of the very first charters for a new chapter. Uh, you know, I, I think that's pretty cool from almost 100 years ago. Um, and then certainly any uh, a way to contact us uh, is um, through email uh, or um, calling us or online um, in any way. So uh, this is the staff that runs uh, headquarters. Um, we have a really great diversity, equ equity, inclusion, and belonging page. So lots of resources here. If you want, if your chapter wants to program around these topics, there's lots of stuff on uh, DEIB. Scholarships are, you're all probably very eligible for scholarships. Uh, involvement does help uh, to apply for, for your essays during, uh, your, with your scholarship application. So just be aware of our scholarship program. Uh, two of them, you do need to work with your chapter advisor to identify who gets to apply because um, it has to go through the chapter because it's limited to how many um, you can, how many applicants can represent each school. And then the graduate fellowship is the open one where anyone can apply and you can apply for a graduate fellowship for the rest of your life. And after undergrad, you might decide 10 years later, you want to go to grad school, you are eligible. Uh, lots of uh, information on the invited tab, which is really geared towards those who are invited to join. So probably not you. I'm, I wonder if any of you even saw this when you were first invited. Um, but when it does come time to promote Alpha Lambda Delta, and when you're ready for your invitations, if you haven't started one yet, typically the invitations to join are in the spring. But we try and drive traffic here to let students know about all the benefits. So there's a lot of resources there. And then the big one, I think the next two are really the main ones for chapter officers and those who are involved in leading your chapters. So uh, the chapter um, tab has a lot of information, including a uh, landing page specifically for officers. So check out the officers resource page. We've got a handbook library with lots of customizable documents our lead certified program, media kit means our logo and uh, the crest that you can download and use on uh, items. Um, again, the diversity links there, the conference, et cetera. And then advisors, has they have their own landing page with a lot of similar information. Okay, uh, and then the programs one, I will just highlight because there are sometimes, I mean, the chapters represented here today, my sense is that you have some programs going on, you've got some ideas, um, you've got a history of activities that maybe traditions that your chapters put on each year. But if you're ever stuck and wondering what you could do with the chapter, what ideas you might have, what 
types of programs and activities you could plan throughout the year. Uh, this is a great tool. Uh, and in particular, um, the ideas, I think that's under, um, yeah, it's actually under the chapters tab. Um, this is a fairly new page we're pretty pleased with, which is chapter ideas. So this page can give you a really great idea of what other chapters are doing, and you can reach out to them to get um, maybe more information about how they did it or whatever, but uh, academic events, community service, social, career, fundraising, mental health, uh, team building, um, retreats, point systems are very popular. If you're curious about a point system, if you don't have one, here's a bunch of schools who do point systems, et cetera. Um, so the ideas page is pretty useful. Okay, and I think that might be a good segue over to Carlia.